hanging out at Midwestern University. Me and my good buddy Chester, where they're going to talk about a really cool program for high school students that they're doing and how much money you can make hanging out with Chester. That's coming up in a bit. All right, we're going to switch gears. Does your kid love animals like mine? <laughs> <laughs> mine, not so much, but yours is all about it. It made me dream of a career as a veterinarian. <laughs> if so, Midwestern <laughs> University may be in your future or theirs uh, when you're exploring health careers mm -hmm. with their Health Careers Institute camp. Nice. How come you have not had the girls signed up I, in this? Well, I didn't know about it, and Ian's going to tell us all about it. I hear you're going to deliver a cow. Congratulations, Congrats. Ian. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You've been expecting for a while. I didn't even uh, throw you a shower. That's my fault. I, know, I apologize. Right? I know. Where was the shower? Oh, I wanted the man. gifts. Uh, actually, horses. We are dealing with horses this morning. And talk about a really cool program for the kids, literally hands on. This is Chester. He is a beautiful horse here at Midwestern University. And the kids, high school kids, are learning so much about, I mean, everything in this field and uh, what a great way to kind of spend your summer and try to figure out hey what do I want to do when I grow up uh, we want to chat here with Janet tell me about this program uh, you guys offer a lot of programs here but this one is so so unique what do people need to know about it so we have 48 highly motivated um, students high school students they're juniors and seniors in high school and all of them have some sort of medical interest um, so we give them hands-on opportunities in all the programs on campus. So our osteopathic medicine, dental medicine, optometry. Today you're seeing vet medicine. Uh, this afternoon they see occupational therapy and physical therapy. They get to suit your pig's feet uh, oh this afternoon, which is really cool. So I, I'm honored to be able to give this to them. Um, it's one of Midwestern's like great high school programs with uh, the BHHS Legacy Foundation. Oh, that's so cool. And very, very engaging. It keeps the kids' attention, obviously. It's right. not just books and some boring videos. They're here doing it. Right. Almost all the workshops are hands-on. And really, we just want to give them an opportunity to have experience in multiple different medical fields so when they get to college and beyond they have some sort of idea of what they want to go into so it's just kind of a leg up yeah I would have saved a lot of time and money in college if I had this we're gonna chat with uh, dr. Maddie we are here with a uh, a fake horse yes um, and what are the kids gonna be doing with this horse so this is Georgina uh, we use Georgina she is a life-size horse and she actually has um, a couple different things we can do with her we can practice putting bands on, um, but mostly what she is is she is a gastrointestinal model. Oh my gosh! And what you can see inside here is the horse's gastrointestinal tract, including a colon, cecum, which is like our appendix. Um, also have a kidney, a couple kidneys, and a spleen in there. So students learn basically abdominal anatomy on this model from the horse inside out. Correct. And um, I someone dropped their phone in here. Was that a mistake or what, what's going on? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. I just want to check it. Now the horse is backside I saw I see like a thing in there do they like practice yeah so what, part you, of what, the, is, what is that part of being a large animal veterinarian is doing an exam and we do put our arm in there to feel if there's any abnormalities any masses um, any blockages um, horses get a lot of different problems with their GI tract so it's part of the exam to figure out what's going on so who's gonna do it oh. <laughs> can you quickly show them how to do it Sure. You just come here. Okay. We usually have a sleeve on for a real animal. Oh and boy. Go ahead and put your arm right in there. Okay. And tell me what you think you're feeling. Um. <laughs> well, maybe it's the uterus. It is a uterus. Okay, okay. not bad. Okay. <laughs> Now, when you got up this when you got up this morning, did you think you'd be doing this? I did not. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> well, thank you for playing along. Oh, and I wondered how much out of school does a veterinarian make? So let's say these kids end up doing this. What's like the earning potential? It depends on what you go into. Most people, when they graduate, are a small animal veterinarian and go into general practice. Probably around 85. Perfect. Great info and a great rewarding career that can actually make you some money. What if I'm trying to have breakfast what right now? What is happening what right now? <laughs>
What just happened? Could you explain to me? What just, Olivia, you can Let's go. Let's transition to April. April, but, so from this I, I to... think, wait, what has happened is we've confirmed that you two are not cut out to be best. No, definitely not. <laughs> what did you Ian just the do right to us? Career. He tried to figure out the right place to put that microphone during that interview. Oh. Is what he tried to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's memorable. Uh,